Hello, it's Heather. Today in this video, I will be creating a fluid um, acrylic pour owl. The creation of this um, owl is sped up five times. So right here, I'm just kind of sketching it out with a pencil to get a basic outline. Um, and of course, the wings are up um, like he's coming in for a landing. Um, as you'll see in the video, the owl goes through quite a few transformations. Um, he was one that I kind of just figured out as I went. Um, and a lot of it I didn't, I didn't really like initially. So I kind of used different techniques to get exactly what the look that I wanted. So right here, I'm just putting down um, a base coat over him just so um, the paint that I use will adhere to the canvas because I am using a little bit of um, silicone in it. Um, so that will repel um, against, you know, whatever it's sitting on. Uh, just because it is a little bit um, or slightly oily um, in nature or texture. And I only have silicone in the white and this antique white or off-white that I'm putting down now. I believe it's just a couple of drops of silicone to approximately four or five ounces of paint or paint mixture of the acrylic uh, fluid paint. My mixture you can find down below, but I typically use one part paint two parts um, Floetrol, and um, a little bit of water, maybe like a, a quarter. Well, really just depending on the consistency of the paint. So if it's a thicker paint, I may use a little more water. Okay, so now I'm doing the focal point, which is the bigger wing. Um, I kind of started off just um, with a paint stick or a palette knife. Um, outlining the wing and the contours and then I went back and did dots because I thought that um, just that consistency just looked a little better um, and that technique looked a little better for parts of his wing. This guy had quite a bit of paint. Um, I just kind of felt like I was redoing and redoing so a lot of times I had to scrape off paint in order to reapply paint for the depth and you know what I was really wanting. Um, so he took quite a while. Um, as you'll see here in these next few minutes, literally from about 10 minutes to the 13 minute mark, his face just does complete transitions. It's kind of funny to watch um, really quickly. Some of the painting wasn't recorded. Um, so. Unfortunately, it's not all on here, but I did um, really mess around with the paint for quite a while to to get him looking exactly like I wanted to. All right, so I'll let you watch the rest of his face transitions. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. I post at least twice a week. And you can find me on Instagram under create again as well as Etsy, Create Again, and my website, createagain.com. Thank you.
again thanks for watching it really means a lot to me please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe I post at least twice a week you can also find me on my website createagain.com and I'm on Instagram and Etsy under create again as well remember to do what your creative soul desires and it's never too late to create again